In this tutorial we'll be learning how to use weaponry. Let's start with energy weapons, the simplest to use type. Start by spawning a medium laser. Weapon models can be changed by using the model selection menu. Just click the weapon after making changes to update it. We must always parent guns to a gate, so place a gate onto the hard point. Move the weapon to the hard point. It's a good idea to line up their center of masses so they fire accurately. Use fading door on the gun so that we may access the gate below. Parent the gun to the gate. We must now use the linker tool to link the gun to the engine. Left click the gun and right click the engine. Wire fire to mouse one on the pod controller. We now have a functional laser. But what if we wanted an ammo based weapon with lock on? Let's use an LRM5. Since our weapon can lock on, we don't need to point it at the enemy, so let's place it aiming up for arc fire. Parent the LRM5 to the torso gate. Missiles and ballistics require ammo. Spawn an ammo box that corresponds to your weapon type. The ammo crate must be part of the same contraption as the engine. So parent it onto the mech, it doesn't matter where, as long as it's to a gate. To lock on we will need a sensor. Place a sensor onto your mech and parent it on. Wire next and previous to the pod controller controls you wish to scroll through targets with. Here I'll use an advanced HUD indicator to indicate the position of the locked target. You can also use EGP HUDs or HALAS to do this. The sensor must be linked to the engine just like a gun. Wire target on the LRM5 to the target output on the sensor. Wire fire on the LRM5 to mouse to on the pod controller. Let's test out our firepower against these engines I have set up. Start by locking onto the target. When we fire, our missiles fly into the air and come back down onto the target. Once it's destroyed, our radar swaps to the next available target, if there is one. Without a target our LRMs will just fly off into the distance. If you have no sensor system the LRM launcher can still lock onto targets that the launcher is aimed at if you set it up on a hard point. This can be useful for breaking through ECM if you don't have tag or knock to disrupt their cover. In the next tutorial we'll learn about defending ourselves against the enemy and how to set up hitboxes.